North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has seen a new sort of tactical guided weapon being tested, according to the KCNA official news agency. The allegation comes after North Korea violated a self-imposed ban on intercontinental ballistic missile testing last month with a launch. A missile fired from the North's east coast towards the sea was spotted by South Korean forces on Sunday. The projectiles had an apogee of 25 km and a maximum speed of less than Mach 4, suggesting they were short-range missiles. However, the KCNA narrative connected the launch to the North's nuclear goals. Tactical nukes may now be operated more efficiently because to the new tactical guided weapon system, according to the KCNA. This included key directives on enhancing the country's defense capabilities and nuclear fighting troops. North Korea has been developing short-range ballistic missiles that may circumvent missile defenses and hit targets in the south. On April 5, Kim Yo-jong, the leader's influential sister, warned that if attacked, North Korea will use nuclear weapons to hit South Korea's new conservative president, Yoon Suk-yeol. A Yoon official, Bae Hyun Jin, said the North's show of force as a new government began was nothing unusual. Moon Jae-in, the current South Korean president, got real-time updates on the North's missile launch, his office claimed. In a statement, Ankit Panda, senior fellow at the US-based Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, stated that the device appeared to be North Korea's first tactical nuclear weapons delivery system. It doesn't take much imagination to see this, Panda added. Uncertainty surrounded the date and nature of US and South Korean authorities' observations of activity at the Pungi relocation. The U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency estimated North Korea may miniaturize nuclear weapons throughout the missile spectrum, from SRBs to ICBMs, as early as 2017. Miniaturize, lighten, standardize, and build tactical nuclear weapons, Kim Jong-un announced in January 2021. He also stated plans to create hypersonic missiles and surveillance satellites, both of which were tested this year. In a statement, the Center for a New American Security suggested the timing may be seen as a protest against upcoming U.S.-South Korean military exercises. The U.S. 2nd Infantry Division in South Korea tweeted photographs of soldiers testing a multiple launch rocket system on Saturday, but the time was not specified. On Sunday, a Pentagon spokeswoman recognized the latest missile test. We are aware of North Korea's claim of testing long-range artillery, Lt. Col. Marty Miners said. Sung Kim, the U.S. nuclear envoy, will visit Seoul on Monday to discuss the North's latest missile launches. In response, Pyongyang has accused Washington of hostile policies exemplified by sanctions and military exercises. North Korea commemorated Kim Il-sung's 110th birthday on Friday.